Cabinet and the Attorney General's Office are to meet on Monday to determine whether persons diagnosed with COVID-19 and are in isolation will be able to vote. Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton made the disclosure a short while ago to TVJ News. Shamela Pullen reports. Over 2,000 persons have so far been tested positive with COVID-19 since March. Currently, more than 1,000 of those cases are active. It's not clear how many are eligible to vote in the general election on September 3. But Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says how they will be accommodated will be decided in days. The issue of isolation is an issue that I think the, the Cabinet and the Attorney General's office will have to make a determination on. I suspect that tomorrow, Sunday, that, Monday that is, some determination will be made on that. We do have a number of active cases now. And there's an argument that uh, says under the law they sh they, you can't bar them. But the question is, in the public health interest, what provision would be made if, in fact, they are allowed? There are more than 30,000 persons in quarantine, and those who are eligible to vote will get an opportunity to do so. Dr. Tufton sought to explain that the quarantine cases are different because these persons have not yet been tested positive with COVID-19. Persons in quarantine under the law would be allowed to vote. The issue becomes how they do so safely and the, um, the, the electoral commission uh, in an interview, the, the director of elections has indicated very clearly that they are assuming that everybody is positive and they are putting the steps in place. The health minister says this is a joint approach between his ministry and the Electoral Office of Jamaica. He added that persons allowed to vote must ensure that the protocols are observed. The assumption of everybody being positive on election day means the six feet distancing in the line the sanitizing, the compulsory wearing of masks, the non-reusable reusable pencil, all of those are captured as part of the overall protocol. So we can detach what the Electoral Commission is doing from what the public health stance is. In fact, the protocol that the Electoral Commission has put out was put out in conjunction with the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Shimela Pullen, TVJ News.